Welcome to my humble little office. My name is R. Keith Andrews. I am a spiritual guide and paranormal adept. This is the astrological forecast for April 5th through April 11th of 2020. Now this is a general, a general forecast, meaning it is aimed to apply to the general side of people of about eight, of about eight billion people. So, if this does not seem to apply to you, understand that would be why. Now, the other thing to look at is it may be wise if things aren't fitting quite right for you. Take a look at where your Mars, your Moon, and your Ascendant are. Now, you can get these on, on your natal chart, or you can contact me directly at the contacts below. Okay. In order to find out which one. Because those three planets have a direct, or those three points have a direct impact on the way your life goes. So, with this in mind, we're going, to, you know, we do keep this relatively short because we know people are pressed for time. So let's start off with a general view that applies to everything going on, and then we'll look at the different signs. So to start with, we have the Nine of Cups. Now this means that we have, we are moving into a week where prosperity is going to come back. Okay, now of course, the fact is coming back, if you're not paying attention to what you're doing with it, all the prosperity, all the good fortune in the world won't help you. Okay, keep in mind, now people have talked to me about wanting things to go back the way they were. This is not necessarily a good thing where people were focusing so heavily on the material world, on the finances and what have you, and totally, it appeared they were totally overlooking the people, the plants, and the animals themselves of this planet. But it is showing a shift in the material world where abundance is coming back. Okay, if we work together, this will, this whole thing will be put behind us. We can actually put things back on a, on a reasonable track going forward. Now, Aries, we have the King of of, Heart, of King of Hearts. Well, in all fairness, if we were looking at Cardamomsi, this would be the King of Hearts. But this is the King of Cups being inverted. It is showing your emotions may be a little bit off kilter. So take a step back and think things through. Don't don't let yourself just react to what's going on. There is a lot of change happening. Where it comes to the to the female is where it comes to the women, to women Aries. You may find looking to that special someone beside you may give you that added little logical base to help you stabilize things. Now, Taurus. Taurus, now this is a card that I get a lot of flack from from people because they misinterpret what it is. Taurus, this is the death card. It does not mean somebody is physically dying. Okay, there are very specific things that I look for when I'm looking at, at this card. But it does mean the death of a situation, the end of a situation. Usually it ends up working out for the better. Now bear in mind, we are talking about the about this being a week of renewing prosperity. Therefore, the death card does indicate an end to the stress. Now, of course, if you focus on the stress, you're going to bring it back for yourself, or you're going to hang on to it. Gemini, we have the Two of Cups inverted. Now, this shows there is that we still have a bit of separation where emotions, where relationships are concerned. This is the time to really work on the communication lines, to really reach out and let your other, let that special someone or the people close to you, let them know what you're feeling. Okay, do not make the mistake of buying into the fear that is being propagated by a lot of people. Okay, now cancer. Cancer, we have the, we have here the high priestess. Now, the high priestess indicates hidden information coming to light. Things that were at the surface, that, we, that you may have thought were in the open, are now being revealed for what they really are. 
So the truth is going to come out. And of course, this gets amplified by the fact that the galactic center is sitting in Sagittarius right now, the truth bringer. Okay. Now, when we look at, at Leo, that creative side of yours can be entertaining. Okay. This shows the five of the five of cups inverted. Now, usually when it's when it's when it's right side up, well that came out well. It usually draws me to the to the understanding of looking at depression, but because it is inverted, this shows celebration coming your way. That block that creative block you've been fighting with is coming loose, which is going to enable you to change the way that you've been approaching a problem or that you've been approaching a project, depending on what you're up to. Bear in mind, like I said, with 8 billion people on the planet, we could be looking at an interesting situation. Not everybody is going to see the same thing. Okay. Now, what we have here is with Virgo, attention to detail. Now, you know the, the funny part about it with Virgo, we've got the four cups here. And the Four of Cups does indicate that new information is being presented to you, but you have to keep your eyes open to look for it. Okay, it's kind of like if you're going, if you're taking your kid for a drive, or a friend, or you're going for a drive, and you're not the driver, and you're staring at the floor, or you're, if, or you're focusing on the, on your iPad or whatever it is that you're working with. Okay, you're going to miss what's going on around you. The information is there, the information is coming to light, but you have to open your eyes to see it. Now, when we look at Libra, Libra shows the Three of Wands inverted. Because it's inverted, it is telling you very clearly the time is now. This is the time for you to really reclaim control over your own life. And really make the changes that you've been that you've been waiting for some sort of a sign. Okay, you may have been sitting back going, but the timing's not right to get into this business, or the timing's not right for me to shift jobs. Okay, or in a lot of cases, the timing just doesn't feel right to end a relationship that isn't working for you. This is telling you, this is the sign that says the timing is now. This is when you step on the when you step up to the plate and go, I'm going to do what feels right. The timing, it's virtually never, it very seldom ever lines up that the timing is perfectly right. But the three of wands inverted says it, it's no longer time to wait. Okay. Now the nice part about it is when we look at Scorpio here. Now, Scorpio shows the Nine of Wands inverted. Okay. And again, it's saying the same thing. The same thing that the last one did. This tells you point blank that you're, you're prepared. You've got everything in, in alignment. You're, you've got all your ducks in a row. Okay. Or close enough to it. This is saying time to stop planning. Time to start acting. You know, the, the comedian Robin Williams quite some time back and don't ask me to give you dates but he made a comment there are thousands of plans for peace and no action well here we have the opportunity the plans are all in place you have an opportunity to reach out to people and help them and thereby help yourself by improving communication lines by starting to build that project that you've been that you've been waiting for you'll find things start to shift gears quite nicely. Okay. Now, when we look at Sagittarius, the truth bringer. Okay. And again, this looks really painful. I'm, I'm very fascinated by the fact that these cards are showing up the way they are. Because this indicates happiness. Yes, I realize it looks painful. But let's understand something. If it is right side up, the Three of Swords does indicate problems. It does indicate sorrow and heartbreak. But as with most cards, when you invert them, you also get the other side, which means the opposite. It means happiness. There's a breakthrough in communication lines. 
a turn in the relationship you've been working with. If it's been stagnant, something is breaking free to make it start moving. This may mean that, it, that it's opening up and that the relationship takes on a whole new life. It is possible that it's indicating that you may have reached the end of your rope and it's time to say enough is enough. Okay, that decision is ultimately up to you. There is not that I'm aware of a reader on the planet, you know, a psychic on the planet or a spiritual guide that can make that decision for you. Okay, but ask yourself, are you happy where you are right now? Because the Three of Swords inverted indicates this is the time for you to shift gears. This is the time to make things more more enjoyable for you. Okay. <laughs> now, when we look at Capricorn, again, we have this neat thing here. Now, the nice part with the four of, of wands is the four of wands doesn't matter which way it is it indicates harmony and stability so capricorn this is showing stabilization on the home front and on the career front it's showing there that the mess that's been going on is coming to a balance point where you're going to be able to regain power over your life and put it to use now the four of wands does indicate very much so you've got the protection if you look at the way it sits with this particular deck this is the rider weight deck and with the way it sits i always look at it going well you know if you look at the poles and pretend they're hanging from the roof you've got a safety net underneath you okay giving you that extra support that you require at this time now aquarius we have the the knight of cups now, the Knight of Cups indicates that your emotions are starting to come to the surface. So, do take advantage of that. Let your heart lead you where you're going. But, as, we, as I was told by my mentor, when your heart and your head are in conflict, follow your heart, but use your head to get there. Okay, in other words, think things through. Don't just jump to conclusions. Now, Pisces. Okay, this is the King of Swords inverted, meaning, oddly enough, follow your instincts. Okay, the King of Swords indicates a strong a stronghold or a strong grip on, on your intellect, on the thinking process. But because it's inverted, it's telling you, Pisces, it is time for you to trust your instincts. If you're looking for a little more clarity, absolutely contact me. We can sort things out. Okay. But for the moment, trust your instincts and start moving forward. This is the time to do it. Now, again, you know, we, we end this off with a, you know, with a card applying to everybody. Now, you remember at the beginning, we were talking about the Nine of Cups showing prosperity. Okay, well, we have a, a bit of a caution here. The Empress is inverted, meaning, as we said at the beginning of the, of the, of the reading, you know, of, the, of the forecast, it is necessary to make changes. If you go back to the way that you were doing things, where money is your priority and not a side effect, if you go back to the idea of causing complications, and calling people down and what have you, family and friends included, then all of the potential that is there right now will be tossed out the window and you'll lose it all again. And rest assured, the next time won't be so nice. All in all, that's where we're standing. So I'll leave you with that for the time being. Until we meet again, absolutely take care of yourselves and each other. Okay, and please take the time to like my video, to subscribe to it so you get get told when the new videos are coming out, and absolutely share it. So, until then, for pity's sakes, stay positive.